everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. And I'm Carla from the Southern Babes. And today we're gonna be making pasta carbonara. Yes. Uh, we're gonna get our version because we are not Italian, but I uh, will use most of the main ingredients. Yes. Um, so today for pasta carbonara, I think in our other videos, we kind of just like tell you what we're doing while we're making it but i kind of want to preface what it actually we're using so you're gonna need some parmesan you can buy freshly grated one or you can grate it yourself i personally decided to grate it then you're gonna need some egg yolks if it's a personal serving usually i use three egg yolks um but if it's a bigger serving you can use up to five or six make sure it's only the yolk do not <laughs> include the whites if you want this is a pro tip you could actually keep the whites and then you can make a mascarpone or merengue for like a lemon pie and then you're gonna need the pancetta which is like a ham italian ham and it doesn't need any seasoning it's already salted and everything and the last thing you need is pepper well of course in the pasta or spaghetti whichever way you like to call it it's actually spaghetti though so yeah, but I'm gonna let Megan lead it off. I already did some prepping on my end to make a cute, cute little reel. So lead us off, Megan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grated Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna add it into five egg yolks because I'm doing a bigger portion of pasta. So I'll need at least five egg yolks. So I'm just gonna put in the cheese and I'm going to leave a bit of parmesan cheese just for last, you know, to sprinkle on top of the pasta when it's done. So we're going to mix in the egg yolk with the cheese. Okay. And then I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> yeah, so he's doing that. I already mixed mine, so it's my first breakfast. I will usually add more cheese just because you don't really want it to be too, like, yolky. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and you also add pepper. The key for this pasta is you do not add salt. There is no reason to add salt because the pancetta is already salty and greasy. So that's where the salt comes from. You will only use pepper. So it's going to look really yellow, like a paste. It is going to look really yellow. I'm going to add a bit more parmesan. And um, if there's a specific parmesan, I personally don't use a specific parmesan. Again, I'm not Italian, so any Italians can correct me which parmesan you use. But I personally use um, this parmesan cheese that has been aged for 10 months for mm -hmm. Trader Joe's. So, it's up to you. <laughs> it has lots of flavor. Yeah. But in the meantime, while Megan's cooking her or mixing the egg yolk and the Parmesan, it was Megan's birthday <laughs> on Friday. Well, happy late birthday now. <laughs> Thank you. She's having a quarter life crisis. Oh. I'm on a birthday. She's thriving. Um, so that's all good. <laughs> It was a good day, guys. Nothing too crazy with the celebrations, but just spent a lot of time with my family. But yeah, 25. Ooh, no ooh. Prices, guys. <laughs> but it's going to be nice just cooking our video now and kind of celebrating, I guess. So I'm adding in the black peppercorn to the egg yolk and the parmesan cheese. Carla, do you remember the time where you were putting pepper into the chicken pesto pasta and the lid came off? Look, Megan makes a very famous pesto <laughs> chicken pasta with mushrooms and I craved it all <laughs> the time because pasta is my favorite food. It's a comfort food. Anytime I'm sad or need something quickly to eat, I make pasta. I do not care. And she made this pasta and I was like, I'm gonna learn how to make it. I'm starving, I'm hungry. <laughs> Nothing has been working in the kitchen. Like I just, I don't know. I get all the ingredients. We're about to finish this amazing pesto pasta. What was left is the pepper, but it was one of those like, I personally, okay. 
I personally like everything ground because I don't I don't like to do the whole like <laughs> okay. This I only have the pepper that's run 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 and I go run 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 and instead of run 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 it actually the lid opens up yes. and all the whole black peppers whole pepper corn. <laughs> I was fuming. I was fuming. And I was like, no, no worries. You can easily take those pepper corns out because you know they're pretty big. No fam. British it color tasted on the pepper, loose. the whole pasta. <laughs> I think the whole bottle of peppercorns came out onto the pasta. Yes. So it did. we couldn't even <laughs> scoop it out. <laughs> I mean, look, luckily it was like my last couple weeks, so it didn't really matter about the pepper. It was more of the fact that I really wanted this pasta and it tastes like absolute pepper. I don't even remember what I ate after that. I think I had like some, was it the hot dogs? I think we went down to, um, what was that little corner shop at the bottom of like, Park? The co-op? The co-op. The co-op. We went to the yeah. little co-op, and I think you got a pizza. Yeah. It Not was... as good as the pasta, guys. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that was my experience with the pasta. But I actually learned carbonara. Yeah. Um, so I before was a big tomato salsa girl i would always eat tomato based pasta mm -hmm. and then i went to rome to rome and i realized in rome they're not known for tomato pasta based they're known for the cheesy pasta the pepper and cheesy one i cannot say that right so papa kitchen kitchen i don't know how to say it. <laughs> that one and that carbonara and i was like oh i'm trying carbonara because why would i try any other pasta here and i felt in love mm -hmm. with cheese-based pastas after that so i actually now don't really eat tomato pastas mm -hmm. just because they're very heavy but yeah so and then since there's no good italian restaurants in Swansea wales <laughs> i'm like i will make my own pasta and that's what led me to learning how to make carbonara and now i make it my own way i'm not italian but i make it my own way <laughs> we try but i guess that's our inspiration for this video today is we are making a classic carbonara pasta um yes. i know carla she managed to get some pancetta to use um in south africa i tried going to a couple shops and i could not find any pancetta so today i'm using diced bacon please it's any italians do not come for me okay i really okay. tried my best today <laughs> she tried, she tried. <laughs> we'll, be fine. we'll be okay but um i've pretty much mixed up the egg yolk and the parmesan with the black pepper so I'm, I'm guessing this is the consistency we need yeah okay perfect mm -hmm. so what do we do next Carla okay so I've already cooked my pancetta my pancetta is already cooked pancetta literally takes no time to cook and you have to let it cool off right now I'm letting it cool off so Megan you have to cook your diced bacon <laughs> Sorry guys, but diced bacon. Okay, it'll still taste just as good, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. It's fat and you don't need salt, so you'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine, it'll still taste the same, maybe. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm just gonna okay. get up in the pan. Mm -hmm. And the difference, so pancetta, it's like, oh, I'm gonna bring the pan. Does it look? Oh, it's like these little bits of like pork and it's salted. I will put a, on the screen a definition of pancetta. <laughs> just for your information. Just for your information. Pancetta. <laughs> Wait, am I right in saying that it's made out of pork? Like cured yeah. pork? Okay. Okay. Pork. <laughs> You have been a veggie route lately, but we're gonna cheat today, so yes. okay. today's different. But... I know my brother's looking forward to this pasta. He's a pasta kind of guy, so I know he's waiting patiently downstairs. 
Her brother is our biggest fan. <laughs> he reviews <laughs> all our food and content and tells us what we're lacking. So, he gives us some good advice, guys. <laughs> Shout out to Dylan. Dylan, if you're watching this, <laughs> Uh, this pancetta is done and my diced bacon is done and we've left it to cool down for about five minutes and now that it's cooled down we can add our spaghetti into the pan with the pancetta so you'll just add the spaghetti and then add the yolk with the pepper and the parmesan add pasta water the hot pasta water because that's gonna basically melt and mix everything together and we get very juicy. So, yeah. Uh, mix it up well. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of the pasta water. Looks like I cooked enough pasta for two. I cooked way too much pasta. <laughs> I feel like I always mess up with the pasta. I never know. <laughs> but you can put the rest of the pasta in a Tupperware, put it away in the fridge, and use it for an update. Some for the next day too. It's super good. This is how it's looking right now, guys. <laughs> I can hear the squishiness. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. I don't think I've ever been into like ASMR like that. I know right. Bar, but. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, we can cut this comment out, but it is okay eating raw egg yolk, right? Yes! Bruh. Okay. I've eaten it multiple times. <laughs> That's good to know. I can see people like, you know, they have to like, um, what's it called? The egg yolk once a day, like raw, like eat oh, it. Yeah. Well. They just chug it down. Yeah, well, that, that's disgusting in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you need your babe. That's I, I don't even know what's the point of it. I'm just like, okay, like, is it because of like, beneficial benefits? Like, yeah. I don't know what the health benefits are, like, truly. I think it's just like a quick shot of protein, you know? Oh. It's a quick way to get it in. Probably, actually. You're right. Okay, this is looking real creamy, and I'm not seeing any scrambled eggs, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm actually quite excited. I remember when you made this at the university campus. Oh yeah. It was so good. But I've even gotten better at making it. Like now it tastes like so good. Good. I just remember because I was like craving carbonara. Yeah. It's like I'm like you no know, Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah and then play it up when you're done mixing. <laughs> forgot to say that we're just doing it <laughs> and I like to add a lot of peppercorn so I'm literally gonna put a bit more this into my bowl then I'm gonna add some grated parmesan 
the top. Okay, that should be fine. And this is my bed! I actually this is my masterpiece. Oh, yes. she's sliding. <laughs> that is my masterpiece! It's a very so simple, good. not many ingredients, um, very quick. Maybe, okay, maybe simple because it's like five ingredients, but mm -hmm. maybe one of the main ingredients is pretty hard to find. Yeah. But it's really good. Um, we'll do a little taste test with you guys if you like. Yes. Or I think we should do it. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. Let me get a fork real quick. <laughs> Okay, I have a fork. Ready? Ready. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Also, don't mind me eating on it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Very good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a simple carbonara. Nothing like it. Mm -mm. And it's really creamy too. Yes. Mmm. The pasta water is what makes it creamy. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to add warm pasta butter because that also helps with the yolk and the cheese. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I like is that it's such a quick recipe. You mm -hmm. know. So you don't have to spend hours in the kitchen trying to make up a really good Italian pasta. It's just super easy to make straight after work or wherever you've been after a long day. And it tastes like you've spent hours working on it. It is so good. Pasta is definitely the way to my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my favorite pasta to make. It's so simple, so easy. And yeah, again... It is Italian and not a uh, fun fact, even though I'm not Italian, but not all Italy eats the same pastas, okay? Or have the same types of food. Some like pesto, some like the cheese base, like Rome, and then like more in the south, I would say it's more um, tomato based, Sicilian. Yeah. Yeah. But that is a recap of our pasta carbonara making i hope you enjoyed it as well may made a reel of how to make a mocktail april spritz or you can you know be bougie and have an actual april spritz it's up to you but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our pasta but leave in the comments down below if you have any recommendations or if there's something else you want to see Next video is going to be a very sweet one, so get ready to bring your sweet tooth on. Yes, and we really hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe down yes. below. Ciao! Bye.